y'all tuned in to the second episode of KO Chronicles, aka Church YouTube. What up, 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 what up? Now look, today, I ain't got no scripture for you. Uh, I ain't got nothing too crazy to tell you. I just have something to tell you that is very simple, but it's something that we take for granted and a lot of us abuse it. We are habitual offenders on this thing that I'm about to talk about. We are about to talk about the power of your words and how they will have an effect on you. So, if you ain't been to the bathroom yet, if you ain't brushed your teeth yet, go ahead and handle that now. We'll wait for you. Come on back, hit the subscribe button, and we'll be with you in a second. Woo! around somebody that every time you talk to them, they just negative. How your day going? My day going terrible. How was your food? My food horrible. How's your job going? I hate my job. No matter what you ask them, they have just a negative connotation about them. They just always have something bad to say. Don't be one of those people, and honestly, pray for those people, but don't even allow people like that into your space. Because what will happen, that negativity will unconsciously just start to suck the life out of you. You'll be walking around trying to figure out why you're in a bad mood. I mean, the sun's shining outside, you got a job, you got food on your table. You'll unconsciously be walking around sad or mad or hateful about something for no reason. Be careful who you allow to, to be inside of your circle. Be careful who you get advice from. And definitely be careful of the words that, that you speak over yourself, man. The Bible says there's li it's life and death. It's in the power of the tongue. Um, so even if I'm feeling bad or if I'm feeling terrible, I try to wake up in the morning. I say, man, I feel great. I feel amazing. Even though some days I wake up and my hair just don't quite look right. You know, uh, my curl don't quite curl. I wake up and I look at myself in the mirror and I say, boy, your hair looks amazing. You did that. We have to understand that we were beautifully made in God's image. Now, some of us are short, tall, big, small, skinny, muscular. We were all created in God's image. All that negativity, all that self-doubt, all those uh, negative things that you speak over yourself, that would really have you looking in the mirror and, and hating yourself. When God created you wonderfully and beautifully, God makes no mistakes, okay? We know that. God doesn't make any mistakes, okay? If nobody tells you this today, I think you're beautiful. I think you guys are gorgeous out there. I think a lot of you have uh, business plans uh, that are going to be wonderful. A lot of you guys out there, you want to be doctors, you want to be lawyers, you want to be uh, firefighters, police officers. All of that is beautiful. And I'm here to tell you, if nobody else tells you today, that you can do it. You can live your dreams. You can be successful. Now, does God still have a calling on your life that may take you totally left field from the thing that you want to do? Yeah, that's possible. But I do want you to understand that if your dream is glorifying the kingdom and it's something that you really want to do, you can have it. If you work hard and you have faith in yourself, you wake up in the morning and you look at yourself in the mirror and you say, you know what? Today is going to be a great day. You know what? When I get home, I'm going to be better than I was when I left this house. If you walk out the door and you say, today is going to be a great day in the office, I'm not going to let anything mess up my day, then shoot. You're going to have a way better day than if you wake up and you say, Lord, got to go to this job again. Got to see these crazy people in this office again. Got to do this today. All that negativity is just, it's unproductive. Because let me be honest with you. Somebody is praying to God begging God to be in the situation that we are in right now. Stuff that we take for granted. Somebody is begging God for a job right now. For a job that, that you hate going to every day and that you talk crap about. Knowing that if you got fired, you wouldn't be able to pay your bills. Somebody's begging God to be in that opportunity. Um, somebody's begging God for that nasty food that, that you complain about. Or that food that doesn't have enough salt in it that you complain about. Man, we take so many things for granted, 
as just people in America, period, man. We take being able to praise God freely, uh, we take that for granted. Even though there are people in other countries that are getting killed for being Christians and being able to praise God. like So the point of this video was just to tell you, man, be careful what you speak over yourself. Uh, be careful of the things that, that you take for granted. Because honestly, God doesn't have to bless you with the stuff that he's blessed you with. You know, if you're so uh, mad about your house or mad about your car, I mean, he can give that stuff to somebody else if, if you don't want it. You know, he gives and he takes away. I just want to tell y'all, you know, the Bible talks about how, you know, God wants us to be faithful over the little stuff so we can really then get to the big stuff. If you're not appreciative over the little stuff, then you're never going to get to the big stuff. You know, tell yourself that you love yourself, man, because you are important. You matter. You, you, you're not small-minded. You're not stupid. You're not unqualified. You're not uneducated. You're not unworthy of, of being able to live a prosperous life. You're not any of that stuff. All of that stuff is tricks that the devil tries to throw upon us to make us feel like we ain't about nothing. I speak down on that right now. I rebuke that spirit, and I'm just here to tell you that you were wonderfully made. You were, and you have a purpose. So in closing, I just wanted to tell you to be confident in yourself. Be confident in God. Stop talking that negativity over yourself. And the next time you think a negative thought, I want you to look at the flow and tell the devil to go to hell. This has been K.O. Chronicles. Love, peace, Afro-Grease. Y'all have a good one, man. I love y'all. Peace.